welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I've just finished working on a little ocean piece in a picture frame on glass. If you've not seen it, check out that video. And I've got a little bit of resin that's left over, which is clear and gold. I'm going to add into this heart mold some of my clear. Then I'm going to add some gold and then I'm going to add some black. And then I'll probably have to come in and dome it when it's cured. But I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Anyway. Let's get on with it because this is curing. The good thing about that is most of the bubbles with it will be out. Okay, so we have our clear. And as it's Valentine's Day, I thought my heart moles will be appropriate for any leftovers. All right. I'm going to add my gold. Try and keep that down one half. I need to go up and find. Actually, I'm going to do black gold and then I'm going to add intermittently the colours. So, this is the Colour Me Happy Black. And I just want to rotate. between having the gold and the black. Might make it more romantic. Okay, so when black's mixed in just because of how it's curing, but let's add some there. Come back in with some of the gold again. Bring my gold out a little bit. Add a little bit more black. I have a little bit of black left. Oh, but that's okay. And add that gold. I'm wondering if the black's going to be like the white and try and take over, hence why I kept a little bit of gold here. And then we'll come in and do a little swirls, I think. going to get rid of the bubbles and then just come in and do a few swirls and see if that's going to add any value to it or not. I am out of gold.
having that. I'll bring you in. Hopefully it will stay like this, but you never know. I'm hoping you'll be able to see in this pattern. You may not be able to. I'm not too sure if the black's going to take over, if the gold, or it's going to stay as it is. But that pattern's quite interesting. And depending on how much black's been added is whether it's a gold or a copper. Can't wait to see the interesting effects, but I'll definitely need to come in and dome it. See you in 24 hours. Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivi Days. I am doming, so I've mixed up just 100ml of resin. I may have some left over, so I'll use it elsewhere. But to save on efficiency, <laughs> I am filming three different videos doming in one video. So you will see this repeated on three different videos. That's okay. If you've seen it, you can skip it. People might not have seen the other video, so you'll find this interesting. I have sanded down gently around these edges so they're all smoothed. And then I've wiped it down with alcohol to make sure that there is no dust residue and the same with this one and with this one it didn't need it but what I am thinking of is keeping this as a tiny little piece so I'm going to dome and fill in this and dome at the top which should deal with those air bubbles because there's quite a few in there and it's a lovely piece so I want to keep it and I don't see this as a coaster I see this as a standalone piece of art Everybody. welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. It's review time and we are going to just review how this black and gold, I had leftover resin, looked as a silicone, as a, well, three standing piece of art which you can use as for desks, for windowsills, wherever you want them, on the sides, on little easels or Maybe attach a magnet to the back and stick it somewhere where you can see and gift it to yourself or gift it to somebody. But we are going to have a little look at how these effects uh, turned out close up. It's very hard for you to see here. But I think these are really great. Uh, this colour scheme is nice. The black and gold uh, were fighting for each other to take over. But other than that, it's delivered some results. I didn't enjoy the centre part here, but I came in and I added my own fresh coat to that. But we are going to come in and we're gonna review. But thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Come back and see me uh, for the next video. Other than that, let's take a close up. Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days for a review. This is such a cute piece. I reckon a nice gift for a man or a woman if you like black or gold. But the glitter just adds that little bit of bling and that black and gold adds that nice interesting effect so if you do use any of my ideas as inspiration for your art remember to tag me in so i can pop over and have a little look at what you've created and acknowledge and celebrate that but that's a way of giving back to me the artist but remember you can use these as just gifts for window stills on the desks shelves or a little magnet at the back anyway I'll see you on the next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye.